Hey guys, it's Boss from Slay One here. Today we want to talk to you about the top 5 hidden cool tricks that will help improve your gameplay in Slay One. You can control your character's movement by using WASD. Aim and shoot with your mouse cursor. So for switching weapons, you can either click on the available weapons to the right side of your screen, scroll or use the number pad 1 to 0 to switch between each weapon. Doing the rocket jump is as easy as walking about. All you need is a weapon that has a knock-up effect, such as the grenade launcher or the rocket launcher, and fire against a wall or the ground opposite to the direction you want to go. Make sure you have enough health or you're going to have a bad time. Also note, you can't jump over high walls. This can be great when trying to escape or get to places quickly. Custom Loadouts This is where you can be very creative with how you want your character to fight. Whether you want to sneak up, using invisibility on campers and burst them down with shotguns or flamethrowers, or dodging bullets with full agility. We have all sorts of dimensions you can mess around with. Water is a lethal force in Slay 1. Anyone touching the water will immediately evaporate. Use this mechanic to your advantage. Push your opponents off the map using rockets and grenades. Now for number 2, mini map and gun spawn points. Fighting abilities is only half of the battle. You cannot simply survive the Hunger Game only using the laser rifle. You will need to broaden your arsenal with rockets, snipers, grenades, and much more. To survive and continue slaying, you need to become familiar with your current map, estimate the spawn rates of your most comfortable weapons, and use the terrain to your advantage. Last but not least, number one, we have teaming. The best way to grind EXP, just kidding. No team arena. In the world of Slay 1, there is no best way to shoot, but with the exception of Sniper Rifle. You will have to predict and account for a travel speed for almost every weapon in the game. Whether you are trying to snipe an enemy using the flamethrower, for range, or bouncing laser shots around the map, practice is the key to accurately taking your opponent from miles away. With that said, this concludes the episode of Tips and Tricks in Slay 1. Make sure to subscribe to our channel below for more Slay 1 content, See you next time.